Wake up, babe. Kimball's live. Kimball's ready. This isn't a dream. You're seeing this on your television, monitor, phone, tablet, um, audio, slash video device. It's real. And you don't have to thank me, I'm doing it. I'm I'm doing it for free. God, I'm I'm a lot like Jesus Christ in a lot of ways. I think that's the next Kimball arc. I think is um uh, having some sort of schizophrenic Jesus complex, Messiah complex, as they call it. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. So it's uh, I better play some music. Kimball, 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 Kimball. Kimball, 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 from you to the Kimball, 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 from you to from you to from you to your Kimball, your Kimball, your Kimball, your Kimball, 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 from you to from you to from you to your Kimball, your Kimball, your Kimball, your Kimball, from you to. Kimball, 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 from you, from you too, from you too, from Kimball, from Kimball, from Kimball, 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 from you, from you too, from you too, from Kimball, from Kimball, from Kimball, from Kimball, from you too, Kimball, 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 from you too, from you too, from you too, from Kimball, from Kimball, from Kimball, Kimball,
the Kimball show. I didn't get all that. I was informed that there is a show. The Kimball show. Okay. I was informed that there is a show. The Kimball show. I was informed that there is a show. Mm-hmm. The Kimball show. Okay. I was informed that there is a show. The Kimball show.
you something um funny you mentioned this doom davidson can the starting scene sign be something with pals not pals face but something with a round frame i like that idea but because i obviously can't use his actual face um where is it this is something i made ages ago so the actual shirt will be different Um, I'll show you. I'll show you what I was going for. This was the original shirt design before I made the Kimball World Tour. But I might do something like this. I'll show you. Um, how are we doing, everyone? Bring back the fart sounds. Very 50-50 on the fart sounds. Half, half the chat seems to hate them. Half the chat seems to can't get enough. It's like marmalade. No, marmite. Um good, uh, Paul Morgan, thank you. Thanks for the show, bro. It's a wonderful thing for me to say. Thank you. Bungus is cool WSH. It's about the fifth time he's donated saying that. Um so maybe I'll oblige him sometime. <laughs> maybe today. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe someday. Shall I make a poll? Yeah, I'm gonna make a poll. I'm gonna engage with my audience. Farts. Let's go. This is basically the 2020, uh, 2024 US election. Fart, yes or no? Um. Okay, I'm not really sure which of these is the shirt. I'm just going to open them all. 
Yeah, this is uh, this is it. Okay. So these are WIP working progress. Got parts in moderation. Okay. I'm sure we can get parts in moderation. I'm sure we can do that for you. Um, but yeah, let me show you this. Uh, and tell me if you like it or not. And if you don't like it, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll do something else. It's not a big deal. Just spent, you know, hours working on it. But yeah, this is, um, this is the, what I might do next. So this is an Arnold one. It's, it's uh, like bootleg Chinese shirt with like a mistranslation gratuitous telephone man and we c as you can see i've a i've ai generated arnie's face i i ai generated each part like the eyes and the mouth and the nose to make it different um <laughs> so what do you think that's what i might do for the next one um They kind of, it kind the AI kind of, it kept giving him like a a woman's mouth, like lipstick, and I couldn't really get. It just kept doing it no matter what I said. So, um, but yeah, something like this, and then uh, hey, you got the vaccine there. Got baby Arnold, got a gun, an alien, a telephone, some stuff. Um, and then this was the Ed one <laughs> <laughs> again the same problem it kept trying to make him a woman so he has quite feminine features um, yeah honourable mission province 3 sheriff this is like an Indian bootleg shirt this one's a Chinese bootleg shirt I don't know what do we think <laughs> what does the foreign text translate into? I don't know. Should we find out? It's something. It's not just random. Uh, it is something. Let's uh, let's see what it is, shall we? It translates to Detective John Kimball, apparently. Um, and then the Indian one, I don't know what this is. Obscene Calls. And this one. Uh, respect, apparently. Not feeling these. If you went on to those long shirts the Pakistan the Pakistanis wear. Yeah, I might sell hoodies as well, like I'll have like a shirt version, a hoodie version. I wanna make hats as well. Maybe like a make America lewd again type hat. So I dunno. Do you like them? Lincoln says not feeling these. Farts is currently winning by quite a margin, 67 to 33. Release NFTs. Listen, there's a crypto developer watching. I'll happily release NFTs. I'll happily scam you guys. Um, you know, it's business. <laughs> I'll happily rug pull. <laughs> um, no, I'm joking. But yeah, this is uh, that's the shit. I don't know. It's a work in progress. I made this months ago. But, um, yeah, that's why I might do something like that for the next one. But I also have another. Uh, 
I have another idea I want to do as well. Um, but I'm focused on making the Ed Powell 2024 website, which will be selling Ed Powell 2024 merch, which I'll show you soon. But yeah, so many so many products for you guys to consume. Maybe Kimball Funko Pops will come soon as well. Anyway, uh, the name of this stream is... What is it? Where is Brian Heaton? Where in the world is Brian fucking Heaton? Um... And that's what uh, we're going to, the answer we're going to find today, hopefully, maybe. Um, Kimball, can you please begin to trim again? Well, there you go. That was the email that I've already found. Um, what's this? Hello, Mr. Kimball. I'm writing an article on the Prank Calls community. Would you be able to answer a few questions? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure, dude. That's <laughs> an interesting email. Um... Oh, we got a new soundboard. God, I got loads of emails. Um, but I'm just going to try and call Brian Hayden. I feel like that's the first thing we should do. get his sex offender re <laughs> check. I don't think Brian Heaton's a sex offender. He's a flex offender. I bet Ryan, Brian Heaton has a really nice watch. I don't know why. just seems like something about his name, his voice. Sounds like he has a really, like a, you know, a nice time piece on his wrist. Uh, sounds like a trap. Maybe it's a honey pot. Maybe it's from the police department. Um, from the the LSUPD. Who knows? Where's Kerry, man? There he is. I need a cheeseburger. I need a cheeseburger. Right. Fingers crossed, guys. Let's uh, let's see if we can call Brian Heaton. I think someone's put up a Craigslist ad. I've got loads of calls in my text now. But he has a nice cork. I bet Brian Heaton has a fucking big ass hog. Dude. He's so well known in the town of Jasper, Indiana. And I think you know why. The word spreads. Let's give it a go. Oh no, that won't work. <laughs> but he literally has a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Hi, this is Brian. Leave me a message if you want to. And if not, try back later. <sighs> Brian. We need you. Maybe I'll try and test. Maybe he doesn't pick up private numbers. Hi, this is Brian. Leave me a <gasps> message if you want to. Okay, that was quick. That means he hung up. That means Brian Heaton just thought. <coughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That was too quick. That means that means he must have seen it. He saw the call coming in. What's the time? 
it's like 10, it's 11 p.m. It's 5 to 11. Okay, I'm going to end the fart poll. <laughs> I got. I just had a whole load of mail-in votes for the fart poll. Turns out no. No actually won by 10%. Sorry guys, I guess no farts tonight. My bad guys, it's democracy. Brian Heaton's eight inches. <coughs> Hanging around with Brian. Hi, this is Brian. <sighs> Leave me a message if you want to. And if not, I'm going to text him. Hi, this is Brian. Leave me a message if you want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I want to talk to you. We'll keep trying throughout the night. Um, we got a request from Paul Morgan. Please call this guy, Streamer of Stellation, under the name Paul Morgan. Okay, I have nothing to go on, so I'm just going to use Brian uh, uh, Carey Whiteside. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone right number now. after the beep. We will return your call. Well, how you doing? This is Kerry Weissite. Oh, Brian Heaton. You told me to call you. Send in another one, Paul. He didn't pick up. What if I enable my cooler ID? Maybe the gods will smile upon us. Slip another one down to me, boy. Um, who the fuck is signing me up for Martha Stewart weddings? The fuck? Okay. Ch -ch -ch Club Fred. Club Fred, a gentleman's club. Serves great cocktails. Doesn't accept reservations. Sounds like my kind of place. I'm a no reservation type of guy. Am I right? I am right. To pretend you're not the one. Yeah, I'm... God, who signed me up for all this gay porn, guys? God. <laughs> uh, it's a good cover story. To be fair. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, and yourself? Just fine. Do you remember me? Uh, no. Sorry. This is Fred. Terrific. Oh. Hello? Hello? This is Fred. Do you remember that? <laughs> Let's start this again. How are you? I'm good, and yourself? Not so good. 
So what's going on? Excuse me? Wait, what do you mean what's going on? This is regarding... Hello? Can you hear me? No, you said this is regarding and I didn't hear anything else. Yeah, are you called me? This is the worst phone. Uh-huh. I got a call from you, and it was a recording, and you were getting your, you were in a uh, hair salon, and your hair was wet. No, they're probably giving you the wrong phone number, because it's not. Mm. You I'm think it's because you're Mexican? Phone. Yeah. Um, how do you know I'm Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> you and I have had sex before. Do you remember that? What the heck? Okay, bye bye. No. Uh huh. Say yes. She said it's interesting. How do you know? How do you know I am Mexican? Hello, I did some digging. Oh, Patchy, how do I get that boy? Send it over, man. Fred M26 board. Send that over, dude. Email it, Discord it, and I'll use it. Yeah. I was actually thinking the other day, um, just going through Carlos's videos and taking out a load of lines and adding them to the board. Or sending them to A24 and begging him to add them. Speaking of, we have a new board. Someone's just posted a song in the Discord. And I know you guys love listening to those. Um. Yeah, gather round, I've got a story to tell. About a legend in the streets, afraid of her ringing bells. The greatest bell bondsman that ever walked this earth. Holding criminals down since the day of their birth. He had his squad with him, Ernest O. Bill and Ed. Arnold Kerry Rick. I never fled, came from different walks of life But the mission was the same To bring justice to the hood and protect their own name Fred Herbert, the bonds ain't holding it down With his crew by his side, just the talk of the town They're the guardians of justice, they're always on the case Fred Herbert and his pals, bringing order to this place Cool, thanks for that um, Sent you the media file link on Discord, did you? Uh, I can't see that you did. Oh yeah, you did the media file link. Do I want to download this? That's well, the .swf. I'm going to download it. <laughs> Can you send the SWF over Discord maybe? I'm a little bit I'm a little bit um apprehensive about downloading SWF files from Mediafire. Something that's dodgy about Mediafire, I don't know why. Sure. Okay. Promise no hack. That's good enough for me. Pack. And then we'll call Club Fred back. Okay, um. <laughs> let's find it out. 
sending. Okay. Ah, oh, this is this is the same board that I have except updated. Ah, well thank you, Patchy. Ah, oh, this is like the same one but way more stuff. Holy shit. A V A L O S My number's nine oh nine nine oh nine nine oh nine the number's nine oh nine the number's nine oh nine Hawthorne Mike C L O W A R D the license spelled on screen. I'm sorry, what? Do what? What? Doll a little bit. Sure. Sure. <laughs> oh, this is great. I am. I don't believe this shit. I don't believe you. Well, that's not me. You go to sleep. I'm not I'm sorry it happened. <laughs> Do I sound intoxicated to you? Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? And how long have you been on the drugs? I was frustrated with you. Oh, nice. I knew that board. There was. It looked unfinished. Sweet. 61. <laughs> 91766. Um. Oh. Do what? What? Oh. 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 Wow. I can change the layout. Making money online. I've even got plates that I got. Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, the license plates. Where is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> Thursday. It's been a crazy, crazy Thursday. Come on in and see me. I'm talking to Jesus. Laying out in the desert. The hardware store, little shacks. Jess Ranch Parkway in Bear Valley Road. You guys burning incense in their ashtray. It's been a crazy, crazy. You are going to say yes. Spray them silver. Come on in and see me. Haven't we been talking about this? I'm thinking about taking my life. <laughs> see. I've just been angry my entire life. I am sitting in front of my TV, looking at Breaking Bad on Netflix. I'm going to write a review. In fact, I don't know whether I'm really Gregory Stevens or not. Okay, well, let's fucking do it. Oh, well, yeah, I wonder if there's more sexual assault lines. Hello, Club Red. Hello? I'm sorry it happened. I'm sorry. Yes. And who's this? Can I help you? This is Jessica. Who's this? How can I help you? This is Fred. How are you? No, it's not. <laughs> Excuse me? My name's Fred Herbert. Okay, what can I do for you? Uh... Hi. Uh, what can I do for you? Why are you so mad at me? Because you're tying up the line and you're not asking for anything. So what can I do for you? I've been if doing nothing, this a long have time. A I know exactly what you're saying. You're really okay. starting to frustrate me. <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to this. This is huge. Back during the 80s, that's when the stuff was really big. I, I'm, I, all I can do is... I, I'm dull. I'm going to put my speakerphone on. How long have you been a fucking asshole? <laughs> 
Ghostler, please ring us Australian mobile number. His name is Paul Thompson and he's a pedo. Well, Paul Morgan, of no relation, I don't think, has just sent me another number, so we'll do that. He's a fucking rock spider. Don't you mean a rock spider? Hi there. The person you are calling is using Get Contact Assistant. Your call will be recorded and shared with the person you are calling. May I ask who is calling? This is Fred. May I ask the reason for your call? Excuse me? I am connecting the call. Please hold. Please. The person you have called cannot be reached at the moment. Send in another one, Paul Morgan. I'm sorry. Let's call this Rock Spider. you are calling is not available. Oh. Please leave a short what? message what? and it what? will be what? sent as an audio oh, message. Shit. I would like to put your dick in my ass. I'm 72 years old and I've fucked every uh, race. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. This is amazing stuff. God bless this man. Thank you, uh, thank you, Pack, Patchy. Right, let's go to Harry Pinson's place. Harry isn't here, I don't think. Do we have any mods? I think the chat is just on un unmoderated. I oh know we got Anton Sugar, but he's probably high, probably high on the job as always. Why did I even make you a mod, Anton? <laughs> um. Motel 6. Oh, we got some addiction recovery sensors. All right. Let's give it a go. I haven't... I might be a bit slow on the lines because I don't know what this... I don't know the layout of this board, but... For quality assurance, God, this call may be recorded. Thank you for calling Bellmead AMT and National Addiction Recovery. Please leave a message and we will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Very helpful. Let's try Tennessee. For quality assurance, this call may be Can't, recorded. Okay, another Streamlabs guy. Another guy who can't use Streamlabs. Evil Ed. Okay, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk you guys through this. Hope I don't leak my credit card information or something. Um just we'll just send people back to this clip. Look, you put in at the top where it says username, you just put in any name, you can put in whatever the fuck you want. Then you put in the donation amount and select what currency you want. Then one time or monthly, I don't know why you do monthly, just do one time. You write your message, you ignore YouTube video URL. You ignore this here, okay? You don't do anything on the YouTube video URL. That's for donating videos to play, which I don't have enabled, so ignore it. Um, and then you scroll down and you click donate. And then you can enter your payment details and request numbers or whatever the fuck, you know. Um, I think what fucks people up is, yeah, you're entering the link. 
people that see that and enter the link, which is kind of confusing. I'm going to say I think that's why people can't read it. Infotainment. <laughs> Yeah, I like to think stream is infotainment. All right, let's, let's do this. I forget about the supermarket. Addiction recovery. For quality assurance, this call may be recorded. Did I get your email? Oh, about Bill's pictures. Yeah, I forgot to look at it. Tennessee Valley Recovery, this is Bobby. Do I sound intoxicated to you? I I don't know. I am pretty damn high. Okay. Yes. Methamphetamine is ruining my life. Got you. Are you looking for a treatment? I'm sorry, what? Are you looking for a treatment? Oh, yeah. Okay. Got you. Um, do you have insurance? Yes. Travelos. A V A L O S. Travelos. Yeah. Is that through work, or is that did you get that through the exchange? I'm a bell bondsman. Okay. Uh huh. I just I hadn't heard of it. I hadn't heard of that type of insurance before. Why are you acting like uh, this? Acting like what? You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Let's start this again. Okay. Methamphetamine is ruining my life. Can I get some help, please? Yeah, that's why I was asking the questions that I was asking is to, to see if, if we're able to accept you into the program. I was just getting the ball rolling. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Okay. So what's been going on? You've just been using meth? Yes. Constantly. So Constantly? Okay, I got you. Back during the okay. 80s, that's when the stuff was really big. Say that again? Started smoking weed in 1970. I've been doing this okay. a long time. I know exactly what you're saying. Okay. Well, yeah, man. Um, what exa Have you been to treatment before? No. No, they don't help us at all. I think it's because I'm Mexican. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. What was that? Excuse me? Uh, what? I, I didn't hear what you said. No, they don't help us at all. I need Jesus Christ in my life. Yeah, that that can definitely help. Um, yeah, you know, that's treatment helps. Treatment helps people, you know, kind of focus on multiple things and spirituality is one of those things that it helps you focus on. Oh. And my wife's a fucking bitch. And when I was in prison, I got raped constantly. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, man. That that sounds like it was a definitely a traumatic experience, you know, that could contribute to uh, your using a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay. So um, I'm going to ask you about your insurance again because I, I have to get that information in order to know if we can take you. Okay. So you said that the insurance that you have is, is called Provolos? I'm not understanding you. Huh? 
you said the type of insurance you have is called Provolos. Oh, A V A L O S. Okay. I'm not the license spelled on screen. Okay, got you. Yes. Give me one second. Okay. This new board is correct. You said A V L O S? Excuse me? You said A V L O S? R O G E R S. What did you say? The the insurance is called Avalos, A V L O S? Yeah. Okay. Is there another? Is it is it through like Blue Cross or Cigna or Aetna? Because that one I don't know. That one's not pulling up. That's on what it's all about. What do you mean? Excuse me. I, I said, what, is, what do you mean? Hang on just a second. Hello? Hello. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you told me to hang on for a second. No, I did not. Okay. Um, okay. Do you have Do you have your insurance information? Haven't we been talking about this? Yeah, but if you have the card and you can look at it, I, I, Avalos isn't the that that might be the third party that carries it, but is it, it it's through another provider? It's probably through like Blue Cross or Aetna or somebody like that. I I'm I all I can do is. <clears throat> I can't give you an answer on that. Okay. Got you. Well, I'm when sorry. Were you looking to... No, you're no, you're fine. When were you looking to come in? ASAP, right away. Okay. Well, yeah, I'd I'd like to be able to help you, but if I can't gather any more information, then there's not much I can do. Do you have? How much? Do what now? Do you have some discounts available? I'm 72. Uh, I don't know how old you are. Got you. Yeah, we don't really, I mean, our, you know, our prices are, are what they are. We don't have any type of discounts now. Is that right? I get the government yeah. check and get it high. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. We don't um you know, we don't have any type of grants or anything like that unfortunately. Um I think you you know a a good place that you could call that could get you in and they don't require anything from you would be uh Buffalo Valley is one or a place called New Leaf is another one. I went to an AA meeting just yesterday. Did you? Uh huh. I got 25 years since I drank, and I was the worst drunk. Got you. But yeah, meth's just been getting you. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Like I said, I, I don't. I don't think I'll be able to help. But if you call, I have some other places you can call if you want to take down the names. Go ahead. Okay. New Leaf. N e w l e a f. E s t h e r. Huh? Yeah, and then uh, the other one is Center Point. What? Center Point. Excuse me. Center Point is the other one. Well, if you don't know, then then this is uh, BS. I just told you the name, Center Point. Who the fuck is this? You're not my son. No, I'm not. We've been 
you called our number. No, I did not. Okay. Do you tell me where she is? Is this Gregory Stevens? <laughs> that was a good uh, good call. This board is amazing. Oh my god. Maybe we should use this for the rest of the stream. Um I want you to rearrange my insides, Kimball. Thanks, Meek. Meek is me. Oh, it's you again. Is it you again? Um, yeah, this board is awesome. Um, thank you to Patch. Terrific. Uh, Can you draw the three charges on the new board? Go ho ho ho. <laughs> I can certainly do the three charges. Uh, the three charges are use others I uh, use others ID for gain and public intoxication and then had another uh another charge uh robbery second degree assault with a deadly weapon assault with force false imprisonment and another kind of false imprisonment and aggravated sexual assault with Esther Avalos, that's what it's all about. I think it's because I'm Mexican. I've been a next felon for 46 years and a prankster before that for four or five years. And I would want to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Hey, oh, I knew that was an original line. I made that line there a few weeks ago. Um, I guess Carlos Walnut got there first. He's thought of everything, dude. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Every type of it. Line. I've got the shit. Oh! Oh! I got my fingers crushed. Why are you acting like my son? You could do like a schizo for Edgar. Right, we'll do the three charges. Uh, John, thank you. Ghostler, send in another one. Paul Morgan with another third number. Oh, with another number, thank you. Someone snitched to LSU. I don't know if they if someone snitched or if they just found it. I don't know. I guess someone must have snitched. Maybe someone saw the video and it's like, how many views does that have? Has yeah, has four K views. Ah, oh, someone must have sent it. So, one hundred and sixty-two listeners. What's the record? Ah, uh, I think the record is like one hundred and eighty, one hundred and ninety, or something. I think, I think one hundred and eighty-eight, or something like that. Please leave your message for seven zero. Paul, Paul, you got the same problem as uh. As um, that guy with the Halo avatar, he always donates numbers that don't pick up. Strong style, or the M the Modern Warfare avatar, his numbers don't pick up. I think you have the same problem. Um, send me in another one, Paul. Just keep them coming. I'll keep trying. Um, terrific. Terrific. My friend say something along the line that he want to fuck their asshole if they have the seat. <laughs> okay, well, editing lines, okay. I want to fuck your asshole. I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. I'm certainly ready to do this for you if you want to do it. Uh, 
Claro que eu. Asshole. I've got the shit. This is a real quality stream, this. I'm certainly ready to do this for you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Asshole. I've got to do this for you if if you if you got the shit. If you I'm certainly ready to do do you want to do it do this for you if if you got the shit okay let's listen to our creation shall we I'm certainly ready to fuck you asshole if you got the shit Scat's fetish, Fred. Ah, oh, wonderful. Um. Did you like that? Was that worth five dollars, Mr. Madness? Call a pharmacy and tell you. Give us turtleneck penis. What the fuck's a turtleneck penis? What's a turtleneck penis? Can't find any information. Um, well, yeah, I hope we'll play it one more time. I'm certainly ready to fuck you, asshole. If you got the shit, an extra long she thing. Do they circumcise you in Australia? Sound like an American thing. Um. Okay. Uh, it's called Lake Wales. Someone requested that. I've got all the stats here. I thought you knew everything about Australia. No oh, crabs. I'm going to Holiday Express Lake Wells, just about you. Hello. I think this is Greg. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you? No, I don't think it is. Good. And who's this? Who is this? This is Jason. How can I help you? This is Fred. I'm 72. I don't know how old you are. How can I help you, sir? I've fallen and I can't get up. I'm sorry? I've fallen and I can't get up. My back hurts. You've fallen and you can't get up? Yes. And my back hurts. Are you staying at the hotel, sir? Yes. What room are you staying in? Excuse me? What room are you staying in? Oh. Um. Let me count the zeros here. Let's see. I can't give you an answer on that. Terrific. You don't know what room, you don't know what room you're staying in? I'm not paying you to order hand send voice. Excuse me? Excuse me? I need to start doing this after a good. 
Um, I'm not paying you to do the house of mice, but it'll be nice. Just kept it coming along naturally, as you do. Uh, I would have done that anyway without five dollars to do it. Yet I will still do it for money. I'll do anything for money. He hung up on the... Sir, I, th I think I heard your Vietnamese wife in the background. party's extension or room number, please dial it now. For the front desk, please press zero. Once again, thank you for calling. Oh, your Indian friend, You are Chris, being yes. transferred to the operator. Chris, you're right. We did not prank him yet. We'll do this after. They find the Holiday Inn Express like, well, it's just how I'm happy with him. Um, what, what's going on here? What's going on here, sir? I must have gotten disconnected. You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Okay, I, I don't understand, sir. You said you've fallen and you're in a room. What room number are you in, and what's your last name? No. I'm right across the street. You're right across the street. Uh-huh. Okay, and you're calling the hotel because... Excuse me? You say you're calling the the hotel because? I'm right across the street. I fall in and I can't get up. Please. Hello? Hello? Hello, yes, sir. Uh, haven't we been talking about this? Right, so you want me to call 911 for you, sir? No. Evading the police, that's what it is. Okay, I think so it's because I'm Mexican. I not understand where you're coming with that, but um, I mean, if you need medical assistance, I can call 911 for you, sir. No. Please. I've been a next felon for. 46 years. Okay. <coughs> um. oh, what is it I can help you with, sir? I am evading the police. You want me to call the police for you? No. Evading the police. Public intoxication and then had another uh, another charge. <clears throat> okay, well, then um, you'll need to talk to a lawyer about that. <laughs> Can I get some help, please? Uh, unfortunately, sir, I cannot leave the desk, sir. So, like I said, wow. if you need medical assistance, I can call an ambulance for you. Why are you doing this? Uh, it's protocol with the hotel, sir. Oh. Um, uh, do I sound intoxicated to you? Uh, a little bit. Wow. <laughs> You're very rude. I, you asked an honest uh, question, so I give you an honest answer. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? No, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, did I sound like you were bothering me? Do you sound like you were, I was bothering you? Huh? I, I don't, I don't understand the question, sir. I just told you. 
Well, if you need medical uh, attention, sir, I can call 911 for you, sir. No. Okay, then, I mean, other than that, I, there's nothing I could possibly do at this moment, sir. I can't leave the... I know you're a better tomorrow. gentleman than this, sir. I I am, sir, but how unfortunately I cannot leave my post at the desk today, sir. That is protocol with the hotel. I am evading the police. I, I, I'm not liable to actually help you out, sir, unless I, I can call medical attention if you're uh, injured or anything like that. Do you think it's because you're Mexican? Because I'm Mexican? No, sir, I'm not Mexican. Wow. Do you think it's because you're me black? Because I'm what? Black. I am not black, sir. Do you think it's because you're me white? No. I, I don't, I'm not sure what racial, racial ethnicity has anything to do with this, sir. Do you think it's because you're five foot two, three hundred and seventy pounds with white hair and brown eyes? Okay, I'm not understanding where you're getting with this, sir. But if you need medical attention, I will gladly call 911 for you, sir. Other than that, there's nothing I could actually possibly do at this moment. Do you want to fight me? Excuse me. Excuse me. What did you say? What did you say? I didn't get that. Listen to this. So you want to know what the bellbine business is all about? If you're sentenced and you're in prison, you just have your time to do. Bail is a bail is something that you can post while you're fighting your case. Bail? Yeah. Now there could maybe be bail by appeal. That would be something that'd be have to be set by an attorney. I don't, I'm not getting your line of questioning, sir. If you are in need of medical attention, sir, I will gladly call 911 for you. I don't know what this is. Okay, sir. Then Bell I'm mind. not able to help you out, sir. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I'm looking. I'm looking. You're not my son. So well, we could call him back with Greg. He might know Greg. You don't know anything about a spider. They were calling the Holiday Inn Express like, well, it's just how I'm going to help you. Uh, Greg. Okay, sir. Uh, this is, I'm going to hang up. If you need I'm sorry. attention, I will call 911. Uh, I, there's nothing further I can do. To there's a spider you. loose or something. Okay. All right. Have a nice night, sir. You don't know anything about a spider. Uh, we're talking about a spider now. No, thank you, sir. Have a great there's night. There's a spider loose in the lobby. Okay. I got you. Thank you. I'd like to know why you broke the window. Things are the same person as your coworker. <laughs> All right, sir, I'm going to go now call the police right now. They're going to try You're going to, to be responsible for the window. I might have to call the police. Okay, yeah, we've had this before. I'm going to call the police right now. Nobody thank told you, you to I'm break gonna, a window. Yeah, thank you. I'm calling the police right now. I'd like to know why you broke the window. The window. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at the window now. I'm going to write a review. I'd like a job. You're asked. Huh? Oh. Do what? I'm going to put my speakerphone on. Um, I'm not paying you to do the Hanson Y. Oh shit, I got a missed call from that Australian rock spider. Were you here when we did that Minecraft? There's an Australian pedophile. Someone donated. Let's give him a call.
Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Yes, I can only just, Jay. Do you remember me? Who am I talking to? This is Fred. Who, who is it? My name is Fred Herbert. I'm sorry, it's a really bad line. Oh, this is Fred. It's a really bad line. Can you hear me? The line, I can hear, but I can't distinguish what you're saying. I'm sorry. Uh, that's not good information. Say that again. I don't know you, what this is. Could, could you send me a message on WhatsApp? No. Why are you acting like my son? I'm sorry, the reception is just horrible. My apologies. I'm not understanding you. Who the fuck is this? Sorry, I just told you I'm unable to hear what you're saying. Oh, fuck you. I'm going to wring your fucking neck. His name's Paul Thompson, apparently. Apparently he's a pedophile. The only Paul Thompson I can find is... He's an Australian elite level rowing coach. <laughs> As a row, he was Australian underage champion. I bet he was. Type in Australia pedophile. Convict convicted child sex offender who once escaped from prison. Paul Thompson appeared in the dock of the Supreme Court in Brisbane on Monday. Thompson's criminal history includes convictions for touching and fondling young boy, young adolescent boys. Fondling. Is that a crime to fondle? Well then, lock me up. <laughs> It can't be this guy, can it? Escaped paedophile remanded in custody. Is this him, Mudgrubs? Call him with Chris Hansen. That's a good idea. What are you doing here? You gave a gobby to an underage girl. No, the other way around. Be the person you are calling is not available. The Aussie Hansen. Chips Hansen. It's me, Chip Hansen, catching pedophiles all over Australia. The person you are calling is not available. Please. Use my shitty accent, mate. I'm a fucking proper Aussie tradie, mate. Don't call my accent shitty, or I'll fucking hell, mate. You'll be getting a, a gobby up your up your digerie. 
or something like that. Or something like that. This Australian pedophile won't return our calls. We'll have to message him on WhatsApp. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh. Okay, Fred charges. Yes, we'll do the three charges. Let's call some lawyers. Uh. There's a load of place names here. A load of new place names. So. We're right across the street. I'm right across the street. 91786. 91786. Upland. Should we just call somewhere in Upland? The criminal lawyer, Upland. Karim Law. I think we called Karim Law before. This cool mustache. Let's give it a go. <coughs> to boy us. This call will be Mid recorded for quality call. assurance. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank you for calling. Kareem Law APC. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For the operator, press zero or stay on the line. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. What? Say again. This call will be recorded for quality assurance. That's a lot of bungus, mate. Thank you for calling. Kareem Law APC. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. Mm. Your name sounds like Australian slang for cum. There's a, oh, there's a Johnny full of bungus. I think I just stay on the line. Someone's left a Johnny full of bungus out there. Hi, you've reached the losses. We're not able to get to your call right now. Do you think this is a joke? Why would they say open 24 hours if you're just going to give me that message? Fred is in trouble at every hour of the day. I love how I stream so late that <laughs> even the places on the western US are closed. Nice internet connection you got there. TP for my bungalow. I need TP for my bungalow. Is the new Beavis and Butthead series good? I know they made a new one. Thank you for calling Mantree Law Group. If you are a new or prestigious no. client, please press 1. If no. you are a current client, press 2. All other callers, please press 0. Oh, 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 o
uh, robbery, second degree, assault with a deadly weapon, assault with force, false imprisonment, and another kind of false imprisonment, and aggravated sexual assault with a child under the age of 17. Can I get some help, please? Uh, are these the charges on you? Yes. Okay, so um, my life. what I can do for you... I understand that. And um, I'm trying to make a note here of these charges that you just tried to mention. Um, you said public intoxication, robbery, second degree assault with deadly weapon. And aggravated sexual assault with a child under the age of 14. Aggravated sexual assault. They're saying, my son. <laughs> Okay, so um, I am sorry I had to make notes of it. What I can do for you is I, the team is not available right now, so I have to take down your information and What's pass it over to the team so that the right department. Sir. I'm sorry. Why are you Why are you doing this? Okay, so our intake process is just that I have to take your brief description and contact information and pass it over to my team so that they can call you back. I'm in jail. Okay. Uh, you said in jail? Yeah. Are you in jail? Yes. So, Never um, been arrested the number before. that you're trying to call Okay, so the, the, the phone that you're trying to call us from, is that your personal number? No. The number is 909-595-2264. Is that your contact number, 909-595-2264? Yeah, that's not me. Upland Police Department. Okay. Okay. And can I have your first name and last name, please? Esther Avalos. E S T H E R. A V A L O S. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. So, uh, this phone number that you gave me, is that a good call, callback number for you to reach? Uh-huh. Do you think it's because I'm Mexican? Huh? Okay, so um, is this the first time you're contacting us, or are you uh, uh, already dealing with a different attorney regarding this matter? I've fucked up every relationship I've ever had. What did you say? Okay, so uh, this is a. I said, are you dealing with any other attorney regarding this matter? No. Okay, thank you so much, Esther, for going over this information with me. I have to pass this over to my team so that the team who deals with such cases, such charges, can can get back to you. Can I get some help, please? When I was in prison, I got raped. Constantly. Uh, the only way I can help you is just make proper notes of. Your, I'm afraid of. Um, I'm really having a hard time. I understand. I'm sorry, but this is the best way I can help you. I can just take down your information and ask my team to get back to you. You've just been angry the entire time. I'm sorry, I'm not angry. Why are you so mad at me? 
I'm not mad at you. I'm just trying to do my job. The only way I can help you. You're really starting to frustrate me. Okay, so um, I I'm just trying to tell you that this is the only thing I can do. I took yeah, your I know that. contact number. And, Haven't we been talking yeah, about so this? this is, I just have to take your information. That's all I do. Come on in and see me. ASAP, right away. Please. <laughs> That's a good place. Why are you acting like my son? I'm going to sexual assault you next. <laughs> You'll be next. What's the matter, the walnut jet? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, hello? Yes. Yes. What, what's going on here? Um, sir, I'm just trying to explain you that I just take your information, pass it over to my team. That's all I do. I cannot talk further on anything. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Esther. I just get my team mm. back calling you. I'm sorry it happened. That's all I can do. You have a great time. I don't want my son to find out any of this. <laughs> this okay. Is, this is the best Fred's board. I'm going to write a review. If I don't get some satisfaction, I'm going to write a review. Okay. And you are going to say yes. Can you hear me? You have a great night. And how long have you been on the job? You keep her on the phone. Wow. Go sit under a tree. Go sit under a AK-47. Go sit under a asshole. And... Go to hell. Yeah, I know that. Where do you live? And how long have you been a fucking asshole? I'm going to call back and give her a piece of my mind, I think. You're next. I love that. You're next. <laughs> Hi, you've reached Manchuria Law Group. My name is Marissa. This call may be recorded or monitored for quality assurance. How can I assist you? And how long have you been a fucking asshole? Huh? I'm sorry, I cannot entertain calls that are abusive, and I cannot answer any personal questions. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I, I was frustrated with you. I'm sorry it happened. <clears throat> So what's going on? I, Do you have a boyfriend? Look, I'm not here to talk about any personal matters. I'm just here to take information if you have any case to discuss, and I've already done that. <laughs> you're I very rude. I can get back to you to discuss the matter further. I'm wondering what you're, I'm just you're doing. I'm trying to do my job. You want to have a relationship with me. You are going to say yes. Please. I am going to hang up once again if you're going to keep on. You're very rude. This, and I would please. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? <laughs> okay, we'll call uh, Chris, Chris Robles, Indian Cobra. Yeah. I'm sorry, Chris, I forgot. 
Um, dude, shout out to Carlos Walmart, whoever he may be. Fucking hell. This is actually genuinely impressive work. A fight ton of work. Like, the skill to make this. To know all the lines, to know what lines to use. Insane. Shout out to him, man. Hope he's doing good. Who's texting me pictures of Fred and Ed Powell together? Let's give him a call. <coughs> next time, okay, next time. What do you mean it's too late? Hello? Hello? How's it going? Just fine. How are you? Just wanted to call and remind you, you're a bitch. Okay. okay. You're very yeah. rude. Hey, you know what? Fuck you. They just hung up on me. Um, well, shout out to the person who did that. Sending me pictures of Fred. Fred looks like Sansa. And they just made Ed Powell a fat black man. Basically. Fat black guy in a police uniform. Please ask about someone's son. Okay. Said here we had a while back Sam Ward Jolson. I don't know if that's that interesting to be honest. It gets kind of boring after a while, I'm sure. Well actually let's call the holiday in Express back. It's the Greg's way place. Save my caller ID. Group. This is Kevin. This call may be recorded in Monitor Quality Assurance. How can I help you? I'm sorry, what? Um, you have called Monsure Law Group. This is Kevin. This call may be recorded in Monitor for Quality Assurance. How can I assist you? Oh, do you remember me? Um, no, sir. Can you provide me that? If you can I know me, where so your parents and family live. I'd like to talk to Carrie. Oh, yeah, the farts. I um, the farts. Sir, right now the offices are closed, but I can forward the details to my team sir? and someone to get in touch with you. Sir? Uh, for that, I will uh, I will verify some contact details. Uh, you. Would that be okay? Um, sir? What's your first name? Um, can I get you? Um, it's Kevin. No, I don't believe any of this. And your name again is? Um, sir, do you have an existing case with the firm? You yes. Want to speak with? Yeah. I'm um, sure. Um, can I get can I get your first and last name, and if you can spell that for me? Esther Avalos. Okay. Thank you. So. Is it E S T H E R? Yes. And A V A L O S. A V A L O S. And a yeah. callback number, sir? Excuse me? Can I get a good callback number for you? I can't give you an answer on that. I'm in jail. Go ahead. Okay. And so you don't have a callback number right now? 
No. I'm in jail. I just told you. Yes, sir. So you have an existing case with the firm and you wanted to speak with Kerry regarding that, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Go. And uh, are you currently and mm. are you currently on re retainer with Venture Law Group? What did you say? Like are you currently on retainer with Venture Law Group? Like have you signed Constantly. any paperwork from the firm? Yeah. Hmm? I get oh, okay. sex for the minor. Constantly. Mm -hmm. I got that. Why? And thank you for providing me the information. I'll forward the details to my team and ask someone to get in touch with you. And they will be happy to assist you. So, is there a good email address for you, sir, where they can be reached or any? Callback number? HerbertBelbines.com. Uh huh. Can you hear Can you? Mm. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you spell that for me? No. Are you there? You're really going to have to speak up. Yes. Um, yes, sir. Can you hear me? Uh, do what? Can you can you hear me? What's happening, sir? I'm saying, sir, the number you are calling from. To, would that be a good number to give you a call back? Card of Wales, yeah. Hello. Represent. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. So, sir, I'm asking. Hello. The number you are calling from. Hello, can you hear me? Wow, you're very rude. No, sir, I'm not being rude here. I'm just asking, like, the number you're giving us a call from, would they be a call, uh, number to give you a call back as well? I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. And that's all to my advantage. And that's all to your advantage. Are you interested? My son and um, your son. <laughs> I'll give you five hundred dollars. Um, sir, can can we just talk about the case you are calling about? Oh, and if you can let me know. Sure. That. So the number you're giving us a call from would they sure. be the callback number? Sure. Sure. Okay. Sure. So, Thank you, sir. So, so that's two one six four five two nine seven seven three. Yes. Okay, sir. So I'll forward the details to my team. Someone to give you a call back, and they will be happy to assist you. Thank you so much for calling. Excuse Thank me. Like the Hi, you've reached Manchuri Law Group. My name is Marissa. This call may be recorded and monitored for quality assurance. How can I assist you? I apologize. I was frustrated with you. I have already sent your case. Our team will get back to you. I cannot further discuss any matter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You think it's because you're Mexican? I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's your girlfriend's name? <laughs> Big Max 2016, thank you. Got any voicemail from the Aussie pedophile? Terrific. Help, yeah, help. Been... This man is keeping locked up and he is farting. Please help me. 
<laughs> oh, I gotta go out there. Cool. <laughs> Hey, you've reached Manchu Relock Group. My name is Marissa. This call may be recorded or monitored for quality assurance. How can I assist you? Terrific. Hey, hey. This man is skipping lock up and he is farting. Please help me. <clears throat> Did, is that something you want to do? Go. Oh. You're talking to an older gentleman here. Are you interested? You want to know what the Bellbine business is all about? That is no sis. Imagine feeling with all your senses without your physical body. Wow. Okay, let's call our friend Greg back. Steggery grievance. I cannot escape some sarasa. Sir, please let me escape some sarasa. That's what the Kali Yuga is. It's Fred farting in your face from millennia with no escape. Anyway, what's this Aussie guy? Calling me. Yeah, you've been calling me a number of times. I've told you that my phone had a bad reception. I'm probably in a better area now, but uh, I thought you might have got the message because I couldn't hear you. So I've still got no idea who you are. Right here. Right. <laughs> this guy's supposed to be a paedophile. I don't know. Let's give this guy a call. Hello? Hello? Hello there. Hello? Can you hear me a little better now? I can just hear your voice. Who's that? Um, this is Chips Henderson. Um, I want to know what you're doing here tonight. I beg your pardon? So, what was your plan here tonight? I can't understand what you're saying, mate. What are you saying? Well, let's just say I have the chat logs. Yeah, what's your name? Chips Hanson. Yeah, do I know you? Well, I think you're about to know me right now. Because we know what you've been doing online. No idea what you're talking about, mate. Oh, really? Where are you from? Well, we'll get to that, but first I'd like to ask you some questions. I don't like the sound, I don't like the tone of your voice, mate, so don't call me again. Goodbye. Paul. He sounded guilty, dude. He sounded guilty. I don't like the sound of your voice, mate. He's got WhatsApp. He's probably still doing that for you. <laughs> I mean, I've got WhatsApp. Let's not accuse people of being a pit on the basis of having WhatsApp. It's a very useful messaging service. Um, you can text me on WhatsApp. I don't like the sound of your voice, mate. What the fuck? 
He tatted Gilly, dude. Dude, just be handsome. Telling me from Coffs Harbor. <laughs> Yeah, he's the Coffs Harbour. Funny, he says Deadstrobe, and I feel like that's um, sarcasm. Uh, okay, let's call this Rock Spider Bait. The person you are calling is not available. Oh, sure. The person you are calling is not available. Please leave. Ah. We'll call him tomorrow. All right, let's call uh, this Lake Wales again. Lake Wales. Lake Wales. Express like Wells just about you. Hello, sir. Hello? Oh, I had my microphone on. Oh, I'm so stupid. Hello, Hello. sir. This is a Holiday Express like Wells. Just how I'm happy. Yes. Um... Can you fill me in on what's going on? Fill you in to what's going on, sir. What is it? Um, this is the Hyatt Regency Cleveland at the Arcade. I'm the front office manager here at the Hyatt. In Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. How can um, I so from my understanding, someone's staying at the hotel. Call 911. Okay, I will do that right now. Thank you. Um, they called nine one one. Is what you're saying? I'll do that right now. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Um. The CPD called the Hyatt Regency in downtown Cleveland, and they called my supervisor. And Ed Powell said, pull the phone records and get them over right now. Okay, you're, you're, ta you're calling Florida right now, so what does Cleveland, Ohio, and Florida yes, have anything sir. in common? No, I understand that. So, from okay. my understanding, so it's coming from the hotel's number. Okay, I, I can't do anything about other than call our phone company and have that handle that. Can I have the phone records? Uh, that would be a, that's a, uh, an attorney matter. All right. Um, so Mr. McLean, he said the front desk called the guest and they called the Hyatt. So I'm, I'm very confused. Okay. Uh, then Can I'll you explain to me what's going on? I'm just going to keep interrupting him, I think. I'm uh, at the work at the front desk. How would I would Sorry, what I, was I, that? I don't have any, it's like I work at the front desk. How would I know? I have no idea what the telephones. So. There's supervisor on shift? I am the supervisor. I am the manager. So okay. if anything was coming through the hotel, uh, anybody was calling, they would talk. They would call the front desk. So, All right, one moment here. I'll one. get my supervisor for you. You got it. Bye-bye.
okay, this is a, okay, this is a, okay, this is a, okay, this is a. <laughs> he just tried to kill me again. Yeah, Aussie guy. What? 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 Hello? Okay, this is a okay. This is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Uh, I got no idea who you are, mate. I've been getting calls. Where are you in America? Uh, yeah, this is the Cleveland Police Department. No, oh, mate, I I can't help you. I'm I'm in Australia, so if you don't know my name, you're just calling out of the blue, or you're probably a scam. Goodbye. The person you are calling is not available. Probably a scam. His name is Paul Thompson and it is a Pete. <laughs> um. Okay, let's call. Uh, what was I going to do? Yeah. Let's call some hotels around the Cleveland Hyatt, I think. But not like hotels right across the street and stuff. Maybe. Oh, this one's called the Kimpton. It sounds like Kimball. It sounds like Kimball. This is an LGBT plus friendly hotel. You can have gay sex in this hotel as much as you want, at no extra charge. Thank you for calling the Kimpton Schofield Hotel, located in the heart of the Gateway District in downtown Cleveland. For room reservations, press 1. For group sales and catering, please press 2. For Bet's Restaurant, press 3. For the Schofield Residences, press 4. And for any other guest services or inquiries, press zero. Thank you for contacting us. You are being transferred to the operator. Thank you for calling guest services. How can I assist you? Yes, hello. Um, I'm just wondering, is this an LGBT-friendly hotel? It is. Okay, good. Because um, me and my boyfriend like to squirt urine at each other. I don't imagine that'll be a problem, will it? I'm not. I'm, I'm sorry. I missed what you said. Well, um, I'm looking to squirt urine everywhere, so I'm just checking um, that it's an LGBT-friendly hotel. This is an LGBT-friendly hotel. Okay, so it won't be a problem if I cover the room in urine then. Um, that may be a problem. You will have to probably pay for damages. Oh, really? Why? Yes. Well, it's a little bit late for that because um, I just checked out. Um, and, um, I did actually leave quite a large puddle of urine. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm Our sorry. Our housekeeping will clean it up. If they don't report it, then that's fine. Okay, good. Um, all right. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Yeah, you see. <laughs> She's particularly calm about the urine. Um, really <laughs> catch the king before lights out. Who's the king, Doom? Who are you talking about? <laughs> I'm I'm it's LGBTU. I'm a urine sexual. I'm a urine file. I just love drinking urine. It's an, it's a classic Aussie pastime. Urine oh King Powell, I see. I should have known. Um <laughs> so if, so can I just assume that if your hotel doesn't have LGBT friendly on it, you're a homophobic business? <laughs> Thank you for calling mic. the Kempton Schofield Hotel, located in the heart Show of the Gateway District in downtown Cleveland. Yeah, you are being transferred to the operator. 
I'm, I'm an LGBT, so I don't know uh, what a mutt looks like. I'm curious to know. <laughs> you mutt. I hate the word mutt. I don't know what it is about the word mutt. Thank you for calling guest services. How can I assist you? Okay, this is a, okay. This is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Yes. Uh, we're trying to yes. see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Um, this is a hotel. I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Uh, well, the we just had uh, several phone calls from this mm -hmm. number, okay, and the individual, ha and we're leaving Lulud and Lascivious phone companies. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other you things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. Okay, so is it someone with an accent? Uh, is what? Do, do they have an accent? Um, yes. Okay, so someone just called here um, <laughs> with an with a uh, an accent, and they were just saying some weird stuff. Uh, is what? Him and his boyfriend like we're saying some weird things about how him and his boyfriend like to pee on each other and stuff like that. So that's why I asked. I'm not exactly sure. I can't pinpoint the guest, even if they're like what floor they're on, what room they're in. Uh, well, the, the listen to what I've been taping from this number. Okay. Okay. You're a whore. This is um the Cleveland Police Department. Um, I just want to let you know that I'm gonna urinate all over your police department. Oh. Well, uh, well, the. Okay. Are y'all are y'all listening to this? That's why we called you back. Okay, well, I have no way of knowing who that may be. Uh, well, the, you know, and, uh, okay, I don't know. We just received several phone calls from this number, okay, leaving lewd and serious remarks, not only to us, but for the captain and the lieutenant here. Okay. okay. Hey, Robert, what's up? That's what we called you back. Um, if they call back, is, if you can get a room number or something like that, or a name, uh, I can possibly help you that way. But two one six, this the hotel. Two one six, Gregory Stevens. Gregory Stevens. Yes, sir. <laughs> there are the uh... All right, and what's the number? Two one six. Two one six. Room two one six. Hello? Uh, it's what? Your phone is going out. Okay. Uh, Gregory Stevens. Gregory Stevens is your name? No, it's not Gregory Stevens, sir. Okay, so who's Gregory Stevens? Uh, okay, I don't know. We who is the, who is Mr. Curry, sir? Excuse me? It's what? <laughs> I'm not on, your phone is going in and out. I'm not understanding what you're asking or what you're saying. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? Am I? Yes. No, I am not, sir. I'm at work. Why are you why are you doing this? You and I have gotten along fine and I don't know why this is happening. I'm not understanding what you're asking. Why am I doing what? Excuse me? What are you asking? Why am I doing what? Do you think it's because you're Mexican? Someone suggested to do the spider board, and I think that's a good idea. I think that's a very good idea.
Thank you for calling the Kimpton Schofield Hotel, located in the heart of the Gateway District in downtown Cleveland. For room reservations, press... You are being transferred to the operator. Thank you for calling guest services. How can I assist you? Yes, this is Barbara Williams. Is this quality control or uh, animal control or something? No, this is not. Uh-huh. Look, I, I just got to be talking to someone that said some exotic spiders have gotten loose, and they think they're in our room, which is, what are we, 206. And the, 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 the guy wanted us to break the window out, Clear the glass out, and that's what we've done. Okay. And what's your name? He said the toilet lid. Oh, the toilet tank lid. Oh, I'm working with them. Oh, my God. Oh, you see, I don't think nobody's playing no game in there. Who's going to break the window? She had Thank you for calling the Kimpton Schofield Hotel. You are being transferred to the operator. Oh, gosh. Thank you for calling the Kimpton Schofield Hotel, located in the heart of the Gateway. Our black queen. She's gone. Hope she has a good night. Okay, I think that's going to be it for the stream. I didn't even realize we've gone for two hours. I've just been... This has been a great stream, personally, for me. I've had so much fun with that new Fred board. I think we'll be using a lot of Fred over the next few streams. I think... Um, yeah, I'm sorry for sneezing, but I can't really help it. Um, yeah, I mean, not much else to say. Thank you, guys, for tuning in. How about you go like the stream? Um, you go, uh, uh, go share it with your friends. Go ring, go call up your mother. And tell her, hey, I found this great new video on YouTube you might like. And um, she might, uh, who knows, maybe she'll like it. It's a video of a human brain being cut apart on Twitter. That's great. I love Twitter. Okay, it's a man getting burnt to death with boiling water. Great stuff on Twitter, dude. Twitter's fantastic. Eid Mubarak, everyone. Eid Mubarak. Yeah. I'll see you later, everyone. Cheers for tuning in.